So Mike, what's the superintendent saying about all this? Well, Laurel, nothing on camera. We were told that Superintendent Guadalupe Guerrero was not available for interviews, but he did send an email to parents saying that psychologists and counselors would be on hand at all schools today. And he says that there are discussions about adding uh, school uh, resources like patrols around schools as well. Students trickle out of Franklin High School Monday afternoon. On the surface, it looks like a normal day, but make no mistake about it, it is not. It's definitely unsettling, scary, frightening. I'm picking up my son today, obviously. The concern stems from a shooting outside the school Saturday night. It happened during a basketball game. A KGW crew happened to be there and captured these chaotic moments right after the shooting. Not to mention this eyewitness account. I started hearing like five to eight, seemed like firecracker noises and I, you know, I thought, what's what's going on? And then my, my brain went into overdrive and I realized what was happening. And I just started sprinting. According to police, somebody suffered minor injuries and declined medical treatment. We're told a 15-year-old boy was detained and a gun seized. I just want to say I feel both great sadness, but also very great frustration and anger. Sandy Chung is the executive director of the ACLU of Oregon. As troubled as she is by the shooting outside Franklin and the shootings outside Cleveland and Jefferson High Schools dating back to October, Chung does not think the answer is putting school resource officers back into schools. She points to research that indicates SROs do very little to prevent shootings. And then there's this. School resource officers intensify the use of suspensions, expulsions, police referrals and arrests of students, that these effects are consistently over times, two times larger for black students than white students. What is going to have to happen for people to quit blaming law enforcement? Sergeant Aaron Schmautz is the president of the Portland Police Association, and he ran the SRO program when it was disbanded back in 2020. He likes the idea of adding SROs to schools, assuming the program is implemented thoughtfully and their support for it. Police work done in schools is not just police work. It is social work, it is support, it is family support. It is all these different programs come together in a multidisciplinary way to help divert kids from the criminal justice system. What police and school leaders appear to be inching closer to in the immediate future is extra patrols around all Portland schools. A deterrent to gun violence, the Franklin parent we spoke to is all for. You're supposed to be able to come to school, right? That's your safe place. For a lot of kids, school is your safe spot. And to have that taken away just for some nonsense, right? You can hear the uneasiness in her voice. A lot of parents feeling that uneasiness tonight. Certainly a lot more to come on this issue. We'll stay on top of it and bring you any new developments as we get them. For now, I'll send it back to you.